What's going on, everybody? Derry with Smart Sign to Go. I hope you're all very well out there amidst all the goings on. Wanted to share with you some good news, and that is in the form of some very exciting software updates that we have for you all to our digital signage interface here online. Something we've been working on for well over a year, and we're finally ready to tear back the curtain on that and share those with you. So that is in the form of some major changes that we have made to the dashboard and dashboard being the section that you first land on when you log in pages playlists and channels we're obviously looking at the legacy edition of that that you're all familiar with um, that you've been using since perhaps as early as 2012 when it was released technology moves forward and we need to as well so this video is all about how we're adapting uh, to keep up with that and really take advantage of what's possible so I've got a couple other tabs opened up here at the top with uh, the new dashboard. So what you're looking at currently is just a very simplified view of, you know, I've got a couple pages here, one playlist, one channel, just to keep things simple to start out with. Let's take a look at what that same view looks like in the new dashboard. So I'm going to click on this tab here and boom, here we are. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So the first thing you might notice is that it's a lot brighter and that's because there's a lot more white space. And that is generated from the fact that the new dashboard is what we call responsive. And that means that it is uh, able to adapt to different sizes of screens. So whether you're interacting with the software from your desktop, your laptop, your tablet, or your mobile device, um, the software will adapt and take up as much use of the screen size as possible so that you're not cramped. Um, and so you can see here if I resize my browser, for example, uh, down to perhaps what might be like a tablet size here. The uh, menu tools here become uh, sort of a mobile version with the three radio uh, buttons there. You can click on that and get to settings, help center, check your account, etc. And so let's open that back up. What else we've got here? So the, the fact that this is responsive gives us a lot more real estate to take a look at our pages. So if you've got a larger library of pages or playlists, etc., those are going to be easier to find and, and see in general. The panels within each of those sections are also expandable now. So I can hover my cursor over the edge and drag this out into a much bigger pane so I can see multiple pages. This will become uh, more obvious that it's a benefit when I show you this next tab that's got a lot more material loaded in it. Um, some, in fact, let's just go there right now. Let's jump over there and you'll see this uh, view with more material. So if I grab a corner like I was doing, or an edge here, like I was doing in the other tab, we'll see additional pages pop in here. And this is really limitless. If I had more pages than I currently do, I would just continue to see those pop in here. Um, so that makes managing a larger library of pages much easier. Same thing with playlists and channels, same story there. So along with that, we've added a lot more consistent, consistency to the uh, functionality in the different sections. So previously we just had search functionality for pages. Uh, we now have that for all three sections in addition to sorting functions. So you can sort by date, alphabet, or even date modified. So if you want to check out what the most recently modified page is, for example, you could click on uh, new to old, for example, and see what those look like. Same thing with pages, same thing, or playlists, same thing with channels. Okay, so some other things to keep in mind here is the view looks a little different also when you're in editing mode. So if I go and jump into one of these playlists to edit it, the functionality is the same, but it's, it's again, it's responsive. So we're going to see a much longer film strip than we're used to, which again makes it easier to manage a larger playlist. And of course, if this actually had enough pages in it that it was going to overflow to the end of this film strip here, I would have another another um, another film strip generate below it. Same functions as we're always used to. So preview of the playlist, you can edit playback durations like you're used to, uh, etc. When you're done editing, you just click the little X at the top right of the window there to go back. Uh, and then same thing with channels. So another major change with the dashboard here is the icon that we're using for channels. So gone is the cute retro looking TV that I always enjoyed. We're now on to a different representation of that, which looks like a little radio tower. And we feel this is going to help eliminate some confusion that we sometimes heard feedback on from the TV icon view of things. 
It also allows us uh, to give you easier access to some of the functions available in the channel. So uh, you can go to preview the channel here. That's a little bit new. You can click on the uh, copy button for the playback address itself. If you're, if you're actually running your channel through uh, your own computer, um, that would take up one of your screen licenses to use that, that uh, web address there, but that's a, a handy way to access that if you need to. And then the little icon here off to the right, the uh, sharing icon gives you access to the shareable playback address. So if you want to share your channel over social media, in an email, in a text, whatever it may be, uh, that gives you quick access to that web address. And that's not a new function. None of these are new functions, um, but they're easier to get to. And same thing as with playlists. When we go to edit a channel, uh, if you're on our Advantage level software or above, you will get to those day parting sections and stuff uh, by hitting the edit button. And we've got a full, a full screen view, uh, or a full width view, I should say, of what's inside that channel so we can work with the playlists and whatever schedule they may have um, here. So just more space for everything. Functionally, it is the same, uh, you know, broadly speaking, as how you publish things and whatnot, but uh, just giving you a little more space to work with things. Uh, also on the channel, there's more information available now. So if I hover over the icon, I should have mentioned this, you can see at a glance how many players are running that channel, including if there are any anonymous browser sessions running it. Uh, you might have some people that have opened it up in their browser and uh, maybe they shouldn't. Anyway, you have that information available to you uh, quickly just by hovering over the channel. Let's see, what else have we got here? So. Major other addition, which is only sideways related, is the addition of a uh, totally overhauled sample page library. So if we go up here to sample page, we have a lot more pages available to you now. Uh, I think it's like 130 pages or something where we had maybe, I don't know, 20 or 30 before. So a lot more pages and also a lot easier to access those pages because we've got the, the search and the sorting functions available here. Um, as well. So we hope these will help you get some nice snazzy new content available uh, to use on your screens. And along those lines, we hope you're enjoying those. This will grow over time. If you're on our enterprise tier of software above, you can now also make your own sample page library. So if you've got specific material that you want your people to be using in the form of templates or, or pages of any kind, you can click on a page and choose share. Uh, it'll look a little different on your account because I'm in my master account here, but uh, that will begin the process of building your own library of sample pages. So after you've shared at least one page, then when one of your users goes and tries to add a page from the sample page library, they will at that point only see the pages that you've shared instead of our stock sample page library. So that is the majority of the changes. As far as timeline goes, currently when you're logging into the software as of March 30th, you will still see the legacy dashboard and that will continue on forward as the default for another week or so until April 6th, at which time the new dashboard will take effect as the default, but you will still be able to manually override that and go back to the old dashboard for about another month. On May 4th, we will, uh, say goodbye to the old dashboard and the new dashboard will become all that's available. So in the meantime, if you want to switch between the two and give this a shot, what you do is click on the settings button at the top of your account and then go to the company settings at the right there, top right, and scroll down to the design settings area and you'll see there's a little tick box to check for use new dashboard. And it is experimental, we're still ironing out uh, random little bugs as we get feedback from people, but it's mostly ready. So try it, go easy on us, submit some feedback uh, by email, text, or phone call. If you find something wrong with it, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, don't forget to scroll down and hit the save button after you've made that selection. And then when you go back to your dashboard, you'll find whichever dashboard you've chosen. So that pretty much sums it up. Um, we look forward to hearing from you guys on how you like this. Hopefully you do, hopefully you're all well, like I said before. And uh, so, yeah, thank you for your time and enjoy. Ta-ta.